everyone, welcome to my channel. I am Temi, and it's your first time here. Welcome to my channel. This is Temi Banjo's channel. Welcome. Remember to subscribe if you haven't. If you're a new person here, remember to subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up and leave comments in the comment section. Today's video from the title, you can tell what I am about to do, which happens to be a very helpful video. That means you should double share to all your friends. So since I um, announced my new role as a project manager, I have had people ask me how I applied, how I got my job. Of course, you have to apply in the United Kingdom. It doesn't work like magic where you know somebody that knows somebody that knows somebody and then they refer you. No, it could happen. But here in the United Kingdom, if you're applying for entry roles, you have to apply and show why you should be, you know, the person or the right person for the job. In today's video, I am going to be sharing with you guys how to apply for entry roles. I can't thank me enough for the service I do to you guys. I have seen so many videos about how to move to the UK, how to migrate to the UK, coming to the UK as a nurse, coming to the UK as a carer, coming to the UK as a student, etc, etc, you know, how to sell, settle into the UK, how to, look, how to what, you know, get a house in the UK. But I hardly see videos on how to apply for entry roles as project managers or people in STEM. I have not seen videos like that. So this video is one of those videos you want to bookmark, you want to share, and you want to watch till the end. Let's do this. I will be sharing with you guys on my computer how, you know, I applied or how you can apply. I'll be sharing how you can apply as a student, which I was. And if you are not a student and you still want to apply for entry row, don't worry, I got you, okay? I'll be sharing that with you also. So let's move into the application for a graduate. First of all, the first thing you should know before I move to my computer, if you want to apply as a graduate for an entry role or for like a graduate role, you have to have a degree in the United Kingdom. I don't know how much I'm going to emphasize that, but you have to have a degree, either a master's or a BSc or a PhD, I know it's called a degree, an academic degree in the United Kingdom is one of the main or is even like the most important, you know, qualities or is it qualities or the most important criteria, that's the word, that's the most important criteria for, you know, applications for graduate roles, yeah. So I will be showing you guys on my computer one thing you should know, I'm not going to go through the hassle of screen recording my computer. So I'm going to turn my camera to face my computer so you guys can see what I'm doing and we can apply together. Okay. All right. So I have here Google on my screen. Any parts where you can't see, especially below here, it means there's nothing to see here. So I have Google here on my screen. Let's say I want to apply to a construction company because i work for a construction company let's say i want to apply to care group you can see from here they have their home page they have careers contact us why go to you know their full website where you can go to careers and uh, you keep searching till you find what you're looking for so we have find me a job job search job alerts i don't think what we're looking for is here so let's see there should be okay so yeah emerging talent what you want to look for is graduates and placements so apprenticeship is different from graduates and placements Apprenticeship is when you are learning and schooling at the same time. So you are schooling at your job and then you go to university also. You don't want to click on this. You want to either click on graduates and placements or graduates. If you are going for placements, it means you are looking for a placement job, which your school allows you to do. Anyways, let me accept these cookies. So graduate placements... 
or graduate scheme. So this is the graduate scheme here. And then click on that. You might want to read this, um, you know, piece of information, which uh, you can do on your own time. So what are the requirements? So here you have, you know, what I mentioned earlier. So you must have a degree related to the job scheme you are looking to join. criteria though oh wow this is amazing to see they do not have any graduate program available now because it's probably not opened but not to worry not to worry i have a bigger plan for every one of you guys watching so um the care graduate scheme is not open now but I have a bigger, you know, solution to all of this. We are in the month of October. Most graduate scheme, you know, happen and take off in September. Most of them, while a very few of them take off or start in January. So for you to apply and become of the September intake, which I was, you have to have applied at the beginning of the year. So most of these companies, they open in uh, winter, like January, February, March. Some open in like November, December before the following year. So uh, that's why I'm thinking, you know, care has closed for the month of 2023 and will open sometime this winter. That is November, December, January, February for the year 2024. If you are looking to apply to, you name it, Amazon, Transpena XP. Express, Microsoft, Deloitte, Kia Group, Motmark, whatever company you can think of, even the big four, they are all here. And I will be showing you the website you can go to straightforward. So instead of you going through this long route of checking Kia Group to see if they have, you know, their graduate scheme opened, there is a website where companies, every company go to that I know, they go to and post their job um graduate jobs available i'll be showing you that in a second and um this um company is for stem jobs and if you don't know what stem is it is science technology engineering and mathematics so if you are in construction if you are in science if you're a mathematician if you're an engineer data analyst business analyst project manager whatsoever whatsoever it is this is where you go to it's a stem you know, websites for STEM jobs. That being said, if you are not somebody who is in the STEM field, do not worry. I know somebody, I know somebody who studied political science and ended up being a project manager. So if you can, you know, tell them why you can do the job, why not apply? So let's move to the computer again and I will show you where the magic happens. Right, we are back where we stopped. I'll be closing, no, not really closing, but opening a new tab. So the tab you want to open is Grad Cracker. So you, you know, www.gradcracker. So you can see it's opened. Well, it's been a long time I opened this. So I used to, you know, come here. After I said my morning prayer in the morning, I'm on Grad Cracker looking for a befitting job for my life. Explore our undergraduates and graduate rules. I talked about the big four here. So you have PwC even advertising already. And look, we have almost 10,000 graduate programs. So in order to streamline your um, search, this is where you go to. So you have job accepting all this. You go here and you hunt by I ticked graduate jobs because obviously I was searching for a graduate role. And I know I mentioned earlier not to click placement or internship because you are not looking for that, except your course is 
a job that has to do with placements. That's like what we call IT in Nigeria, back in Nigeria. That's what we call uh, placement here. So if you are looking for a placement job, I didn't do placements. I went on to be a graduate and applied for a graduate role. So we have all the um, industries that are offering jobs. We have JLR, Atkins, Ramble, Replay, or Re Reply, Jacobs. Jacobs is actually a big construction company. Viola, graduate business manager. We have Bentley. I tell you, whatsoever company you are looking for, you will find it here. Arcadis, that's a big construction company also. That There's Babcock there. One thing I did that you might not want to, you know, <laughs> pay attention to is look at the job, um, how much they are paying you. <laughs> so I always look at the salary. <laughs> if you don't mind, you know, you can move on and, you know, keep it pushing. So I always look at the salary. The salary is one thing that motiva motivates me to, like, apply sometimes. Not sometimes, most of the times. And like I mentioned earlier, they are starting in September 2024. And the deadline for Babcock is... 14th of December this year. So Babcock has opened its um, graduate scheme or graduate uh, routes or routes to their company already, which means you can start applying. I am going to click on a profile. Let me try and, you know, apply to Microsoft. So you can um, explore the company's by their names so if you want to go alphabetically you can do that so it starts from a admiral a com airbus alpha alphabetically you just have to keep playing let me apply to amazon just because so amazon will show you oh amazon has it opened opening in autumn 2023 well we're in autumn <laughs> amazon hasn't opened theirs so just keep an eye on this because november december this will be filled up and they get applied for immediately or almost immediately arriva too is applying if you don't know arriva this is like the biggest uh road transportation company in the north or oh, is it in the north in england <laughs> anyways so you have atkins here atkins is opened Autodesk is opened. So instead of going through all that, I'm going to click on M because I'm looking for Microsoft. I hope they have. So I'm doing this like I'm starting afresh. Morgan Signal, Morrison's, Motmark, MI, Microsoft, MI, MI. Well, I can't find it here. So I'll click on opportunities 41. So Modmark has graduate roles. Modmark is a construction consulting company. So you look through the graduate roles and you can see that they are starting next year, September, and the deadline is ongoing. One thing you should notice is I don't go for competitive salary. I need to know how much you are offering me, please. Let's not be doing back and forth, my dear. I want to know how much you're offering me. All grades is good, especially if, you know, you haven't graduated and you're not certain of your you, um, your grade. Not like anything. Also, I like going for places that have multiple locations. They have multiple entries. Not multiple entries, but like multiple locations. It gives you the flexibility of you know, choosing a place you want. So this has Birmingham, Bristol, Ga Glasgow, and London. So you can choose from this. This has Cambridge, Birmingham, Manchester, Leeds, London. So this is Grand Project Manager. So I studied project management. So this is a good... Read through this job description very importantly. So you need to read through the job description this is important why did i say that it will help you when you are writing your assessments i don't know about a lot of places 
But where I apply to, they will ask you why you are fit to, you know, apply to this company. So graduate project manager advisory rotational program. Read through everything. I'm not interested in reading because I'm not looking for a job. And the uh, very technical. And see, they also announce the opportunities they have. These are the other opportunities they have. multiple candidates you want to make sure you have a better chance of getting the job just go for hiring multiple candidates at least you know that job is not going for just one candidate you might be 200 that apply and then they pick 50 of you at least you'll be <laughs> you'll be among the 50 people that they pick so this is very very flexible you have hiring multiple candidates all grades multiple uk locations this is very very flexible for you to apply so these are the preferred disciplines then make sure you click on also accepting they are also accepting architecture building building surveying and civil and, and disciplines so you scroll all the way down and click on apply online now i have an account with them because i have applied to them previously so i might just uh, click and apply automatically So you can see I have um I have an application with them. So I'm going to automatic automatically be signed in or sign in. I don't need to create another um application again. Agree and you begin. Oh yeah, they send you a password. Let's see. So they send you a password for you to um, enter on, I haven't gotten the password. This is one of the reasons why I didn't, you know, go on with the application because oh, I should enter a new password. Okay. Actually. I'm always having issues with with the password thing. That's why I, I did not apply or continue my application with them. Let's just move to another one. Let's try network real. Oh, see next year. Let's see. The, oh, this is NHS graduates management training scheme. Oh, let's see. It's just six graduate jobs. Mind you, this is streamlined to um project management roles. That is why you are always seeing business analysts project management and I will I forgot to show you guys how I did that so whenever I come on grad cracker most of the job roles I'm seeing is in project management so we have a health analyst business analyst etc 27,000 okay now <laughs> you'll be able to give 27,000 no problem yeah so they have just six six jobs here HR specialism none like I know what they do there apply online most of these things you have to create an account with them reject i don't need your cookies apply you create your i don't have an account with them i haven't i never applied to them so i'll quickly show you guys how i streamlined my application or my or the website so when you come here this is grad cracker grad cracker when you come here you click on graduate jobs and i have ticked graduate jobs obviously so let me untick this and i will untick this also want to buy you are STEM degrees. 
so these are the um, places where you streamline your search i know i came here to click on i clicked on graduate roles here i need to refresh this Hunt by and search bar here projects projects this is in cap blocks so once you click on project management all it shows you are project management roles I think we've opened this one before. Yeah. You can search from the jobs here, the company hub, STEM societies, career, ETC, webinar. I just use the company A to Z, especially if there's a particular company I'm looking for. So yeah, that is that about that. So everything I have shown you now, I'm not necessarily going to show you how you're going to apply to those jobs. I, I just showed you where to apply to, how you can get jobs. And I'm sorry if I just showed you how to apply or how to streamline your, your search to project management rules. That's because that's what I do. But yeah, if you are in STEM engineering, I think some of them came up there so you can just click on them and proceed with the application. One thing you should know is be ready to create multiple accounts. All these company websites where you are applying to, you have to create websites. Sorry, you have to create accounts with them. That is how, you know, they can track your application process. And that's because they have, I won't say strenuous, but they have series and stages of, um, application my own application process was about four or five processes i had the application where i'll first of all apply and you know tell them why i'm fit for that role after accessing it i will not i did my assessment i did a mini interview before i moved to like the interview interview stage i had a presentation and then yeah that was it so um, be ready be ready be very very ready some application takes three hours mine took four hours so make sure you dedicate time and energy and don't just apply for applying sake apply with you know so much energy in you if if that's what i'll call it be very intentional about your application make sure you read through the description of what you are applying to because the moment they ask you why did you apply here you have to tell them why you applied here and you have to quote you know some of the description that is there and say you know i read through the description you said you are looking for a person that is this and that and i am this and that because anyways i'm giving tips for interview now <laughs> But yeah, that is it about this video. I hope it was helpful. I'm sorry if, you know, I didn't do anything to show you how to apply for somebody that is a mathematician. I don't do anything there. I don't know anything there. But I'll show you where to go to. So go there, streamline your search, and I wish you the best of luck. I know it's not easy. But yeah, I am very hopeful that in, in 10 applications, you get one interview, okay? Anyways. It's not that easy, but it's easy. By the time, you know, it pays off, you see how easy it is. Thank you everyone for watching this video. If you haven't subscribed and you reach this point, I, I don't understand, honestly. I really don't understand. You read this by you not subscribe, you're stingy. <laughs> subscribe, like, share, and eh? share to all your friends in uni. Let me know if you want any other updates. I know I said I'm going to teach you guys how to apply if you are not a graduate or if you haven't studied here but this video has gone on for too long okay i will film another one and i don't i'm not ready to do like a part one and part two again i will film another one separately and explain how to apply for roles if you are not a graduate or if you not if you, 
or if you did not study in the United Kingdom. I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching and bye.